Hi, my name is Shahira and I'm in combinatorics and optimization. My name is Jason and I'm in honors public health with a specialization in health research. And we're here to help answer some of your questions about finding a job. To arrange your own job outside of Waterloo Works, there are four main steps to follow. First, you'll need to update your intentions in Waterloo Works to let us know you'll be looking for jobs on your own. Next, you can start your own search. So check out the Waterloo Works other job board or use sites like LinkedIn, Indeed, or Monster.ca to see what's out there. And to really make the most out of your search, you can reach out to family, friends, or neighbors, and any other connections you have to see if they know anyone who might be hiring. Once you have a job offer, you'll need to submit and arrange your own job form in Waterloo Works. Once your form is submitted, it will go through an approval process where COP will review the details and confirm them with your employer. Well, I usually start looking for a job on the Waterloo Works Co-op Job Board. You can check out other job boards on Waterloo Works or look outside Waterloo Works entirely. Don't be afraid of applying to different sorts of jobs. Like if there's a job you think you're not qualified for or if there's a job you think you might be interested in, I would for sure advise that you apply to them anyways. For me, I know that before my first co-op term, I booked one of the resume review appointments and I ended up changing my whole resume and getting more interviews than I did before. You can also reach out to your family, friends and neighbors and other connections to learn about different industries and get advice on how to make your application stand out. By telling people that you're looking for work, you might end up being referred or introduced to a hiring manager directly. Should I be applying to jobs that are not related to my program? The club jobs that you apply for do not have to be directly related to your degree or field of study. Though some of you might end up in co-op jobs related to your program, it's also very common for you to take a co-op job you've never considered before and end up really liking it. So I really would recommend that you guys try not to force yourself to just your own field of study. So personally, from my arranged own job experience, I worked in a field that is completely separate from public health. Right now, I'm actually working as a border services officer with the Canada Border Services Agency. So this is really completely separate from public health and it's something that I actually enjoy a lot. So having the ability to work in different fields while I'm studying and still get a credit for it is really great for me to try and kind of figure out what I would want to do with my future. Is it bad if I don't get any interviews until continuous round? If you don't get any interviews or get matched with a job in the first interview cycle, don't worry. More than half of the students looking for jobs actually get hired in the continuous cycle, including me during my second call. I know some of you worry that there won't be as many jobs in continuous or that jobs won't be as good. But that is totally a myth. At the end of the day, it just comes down to when the employer is ready to hire. For my first co-op job, I got a job during the first interview cycle. However, during my second co-op, I got many rankings, but not a single matching during the first interview cycle. And on the third week, I got matched with a job that turned out to be amazing. The only reason the company waited was because they did post during the first round, but they didn't get any candidates that they liked. So long story short, you have lots of time and options to find a job. What happens if I don't end up finding, finding a co-op job on time? I always recommend reaching out to your co-op advisor at the start. There are multiple employment cycles with jobs posted throughout the term for you to apply to, and you can actually keep searching until after your work term begins. So in my personal experience as a co-op student, in my first work term, I actually didn't find a job until the week of final exams. If I have any advice I wanna to give to a first work term co-op student, it would definitely be to not give up and also to remember that it's okay if you don't find a co-op job. For example, when I was looking for that co-op job and I didn't find it until late, late into the term, I'd already spoken to my co-op advisors to uh, build a backup plan in case I didn't find that co-op job. So fortunately for me, I did find a co-op job, but again, it was really, really late into the process. So if you guys are finding that there are many of your peers finding jobs before you. Don't let that push you down and don't give up because for me and many of my other friends, we weren't able to find our first co-op job until very late into the process.